Well, welcome to another unboxing. Today, I have the new Sphero Indie. Um, this is from their lower age category. So, no programming necessary, no computers. Everything you need is in this box. Let's have a look at it. It's really great. It comes in its little individual case. As we open it up, we see that we got our little Indie car. We have our USB. We have a bunch of um, of the colors because it's a color recognition, and then there's a, some activity beginner guides as well, which we'll dive into in a minute. Also, on it, super easy for teachers here. It tells you exactly what to do. Step one: plug it in, charge it, where to turn it on. This is to kind of calibrate it to get it going, and then you have all of these cards that you can. They're actually plastic tiles. Um, they're really cool that you can play with. So it gives you kind of the, the wrap up of things to do. I mean, USB cord, pretty simple. So if we have a look at the little indie, they're kind of cute here. Um, so it has an audio, so there's sound that it can do. It has it's these little eyes in front as well that light up. They tell you when it's charged and stuff, gives it a cute little look. And then you have underneath is the color sensor. So there's a series of colors that you put in a row and it will react to those colors. So that's your car right there. We plug it in with the USB and then we have the power on. Let's turn it on. Fires up. Like I told you, the little lights light up. So it's ready to go. Okay, and it's activated its light underneath so that it's ready to start reading the tiles. I'll just turn it off for a minute because I want to show you some other things. I'm just going to show you the tiles in a minute, but it comes with these really cool um, cards. Actually, a couple of cool things. So, first off, the cards themselves, these are just beginner kind of activities. And you can see, again, it's very basic in the sense that it has four colors, and you put them in a sequence according to how you want them to go. So, green means go, obviously. The yellow is kind of interesting. It slows it down a little bit. This is good when you're turning as well, because a fast moving indie turns are tough if they're going full. So it's always cool to slow down a little bit the car to make turns. And then you have your full stop here as well. And the purple one's really cute. It's a victory, right? So it spins around and makes a bunch of noises and stuff like that. Okay, so that's kind of your first card that it kind of shows you what is what. And then it has the turning cards as well. All right, so you have a total of eight different colors that are included in the set. And again, it's turning, right, left turns. Uh, so you have full 45 degree turns, or you kind of have, you know, actually those would be more 45 and those are about, those would be about nine degrees, right? So you can shift at various degrees depending on what color you sequence it in. All right, so those are the turning ones. And then as we go along, it does it gives you little challenges to do, right? So the students will start off on the green to get the car to start to move. And then they want you to choose a victory dance of some kind, all right? And the second one, you can put whatever you want, okay? So they kind of give you an idea of what to put. And then when it hits the red, it will stop. So you can see that this is kind of like a classroom service you could use in all of our classrooms, they tend to have those squares. Well, this works perfectly with this because this is all square based as well. All right, so these are just some kind of startup activities that you can hand to the students. I don't think they need more than just the cards to get going. And you can see there's a whole bunch of different ones and they kind of get more and more so as you go. All right, and there's, I don't know, must be about 20 of these, right? Getting progressively hard. Ah, here's the degree one. All right, so it will give you the idea of degrees. So we have nine degree turns, and then we also have the 45 degree turns as well. And the green obviously just goes straight, right, zero degrees. So this is something handy for the kids to have as well as they explore. Now, a couple of other cool things that they include are these stickers, right? So you could kind of personalize India if you want by putting stickers on its body, wherever you want it to put them to kind of make it a set of glasses on it or some whiskers whatever you might need right? so it's fun for the kids to kind of like create a personalized indie car now the last thing 
in this unboxing. So the, those cards are great. Or the, the actual tiles. Let's just pull out a couple because they're quite interesting. They're rubber. <laughs> so they are very durable, which means you're not going to need to replace them very much. And it's just a rubber. Right? It's really cool. It's malleable. It will stick onto any kind of surface that I put it on. And you'll see that I have a variety of colors here that I can use. Right? So a whole bunch of different colors. And again, what they do, we have on our cards right here. Um, right? So we have on our card right here what these respond to. So basically the students are given a card. They're given the, the um, indie itself. And they go and place these on the floor. Now... Just a trick, they don't have to be placed side by each necessarily, right? So for example, say I want it to start, okay? So I would just put it on, let's just test this because I think it should work. So I'll put it on the green and this should just take off, I'm thinking. And then I'm gonna get a red to stop it because I don't want it flying off the table, right? So. This should just work like this. And you can see I don't have to have them stuck together, right? I can have them have a little bit of distance. And they're really good. They cling nicely. So it should be reading it. And away it goes. And then it hits a stop. All right. Pretty cool, right? So I could play around with distances as well. I don't necessarily have to have them right on each other because it can go over surfaces by itself. Right? So cool little indie car. Um, Kids are going to love this. Very simple to use, really easy to get started with, and uh, I hope you enjoy it.